Well, thank you for watching our podcast again this week. Uh, we have sort of two different issues that uh, have been occupying our, our attention this week. Uh, one is in New Mexico, and that is the wildfires that have uh, devastated parts of our state and that continue to rage. Uh, and the fallout from that uh, in Washington, of course, the budget discussions and the effort to get an agreement so we can go ahead and raise the debt ceiling. Uh, the forest fires, uh, the wildfires that we've seen in the state uh, are particularly bothersome. Uh, and the one uh, that has threatened Los Alamos is uh, perhaps the most uh, most devastating in that uh, we've had to uh, see a mandatory evacuation of the town of Los Alamos. Of course, uh, there's been concern also about the laboratory itself. Uh, we're, I've been assured by the director of the laboratory that all of the hazardous materials and, uh, and radioactive materials that the laboratory has at that location are well protected and are not threatened. And, and that is good news. But uh, clearly we still have a very serious uh, problem that uh, may continue here for several more days. So uh, uh, we're all extremely grateful for all the efforts that are going into fighting this fire, all the efforts that are going into helping those folks that have had to be evacuated. And uh, uh, we, we do have uh, very capable people in both categories. We've got very capable people uh, in Los Alamos who had to live through this unfortunately back in the Cerro Grande fire and are having to live through it again. Uh, but we also have a, uh, a great many people in the firefighting business who uh, have come to our state and are providing assistance in our state, both local and state and federal uh, firefighting teams that are, are doing a great job. So that's on the, on the wildfire side. Uh, as far as the discussions on the budget, the effort to raise the debt ceiling, uh, those are continuing. The president is, is fully engaged in those discussions at this time. Um, most of us in Congress are making our views known and, and hoping, my, my own view is, we need to have a balanced approach where there is a shared sacrifice. There needs to be spending cuts, but there also needs to be some revenue raised, we can, we can close some of the tax loopholes that all of us recognize exist in the tax code. And uh, that's the prudent thing to do and the fair thing to do. So I hope uh, we can come up with a balanced approach, both to the budget and uh, uh, to getting us an increase in the debt ceiling that uh, this issue uh, unfortunately hasn't been properly explained to people. Uh, the legislation that involves raising the debt ceiling is in fact uh, legislation that essentially uh, uh, confirms that we are going to pay the obligations that we have already incurred. Uh, and uh, for that reason, we need to go ahead and raise the debt ceiling. Uh, in my view, it should be done even without a budget agreement, but uh, I hope we can also get a budget agreement. Uh, I think that would be good for the long-term uh, fiscal uh, stability of the country, and uh, it's a very important thing to do. But again, thank you for watching. This next week we uh, are planning, I'm planning to be in New Mexico most of the week, uh, both because of the 4th of July uh, holiday, but uh, I've got a variety of uh, visits uh, around the state that uh, I'm hoping I can uh, make and uh, uh, see firsthand uh, both uh, what's being done to deal with the fire situation and also a visit with people about the economic circumstances we face in New Mexico. But again, thanks for watching.